The Department of Pathology here at the Brigham and Women's Hospital has the full scope of diagnostic pathology services. Really a foundation of this department is that we don't just provide diagnostic services, but we do cutting edge research, and that research is clinical, translational, and basic science research. But what makes us a little different is that that is just intimately tied in, woven into the fabric of this department so that we have a bedside to bench and then bench back to bedside approach to how we participate in research and clinical care. The Cytogenetics Laboratory here at the Brigham has been one of the pioneering labs in that field. Over the past decade, my research lab has been focused on identifying chromosome rearrangements, the genes that are either disrupted or dysregulated at the breakpoint, and understanding them in terms of human disease. When we did amniocentesis for him, we found out that uh, the baby had a chromosomal inversion. And the team here at Brigham was really amazing because they offered, first of all, a lot of support and then uh, they gave us access to a lot of uh, testing possibilities, including a new methodology that Dr. Morton's lab was uh, just uh, developing. If we were not here, we were in some other place, most likely Julian would not be born. And we felt really lucky of having the possibility of getting access to this testing. Our molecular diagnostics lab is also one that has been moving the field forward. We uh, created the Profile Project, which is a joint operation between the Brigham and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, to prospectively test every cancer that comes through the institution for hundreds of genetic changes. In the past year and a half, we have tested over 3,500 tumors of all types, and uh, we originally began with a mass spec-based genotyping system, and we're now moving to next generation sequencing, which we're validating right now. This is important because we know that, in least, at least in some cases, the genomic alterations that drive an individual's tumor can be very effectively targeted by specific therapies. At the Brigham and Women's Hospital Pathology, we are not just studying things in isolation. We're implementing them and turning them into practice. And we are using this information to take care of patients in real time and improve their outcome. The work of Chris Crum and George Mutter has identified the origins of a number of different women's cancers and has provided the reagents that allow us to make more precise and earlier diagnoses. My laboratory developed molecular standards to identify premalignant endometrial lesions. We correlated those with histologic findings under the microscope and changed care by revising diagnostic criteria as an endpoint. Dr. Crum has used biomarkers for ovarian cancer to learn that the earliest stages of that disease are actually in an adjacent organ, the fallopian tube. This has completely refocused clinical efforts on the fallopian tube as a means of cancer prevention in the ovary. I think what we're looking at with these advances is changing the incidence of cancer. So Lynn Bree and her colleagues here in the Department of Pathology are studying what's called the microbiome. We run the Center for Clinical and Translational Metagenomics at Brigham and Women's Hospital, and this is using next-gen sequencing and novel computational models to look at the complex communities of microbes that live on us and within us to understand their contributions to human health and disease. It's very exciting to see how this technology can start off in a research setting and then sort of bench to bedside activities be brought here into the clinical laboratory where we can use it effectively for patient care. What we do day after day in the department is really the education of the next generation of pathologists. There has always been a strong ethos in the department about teaching. Teaching is part of our mission as pathologists. And there's been financial, emotional support for doing that mission. We are at the forefront of changing medicine. And we here at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, I think are ideally positioned to be able to do that both through what we do here and how we're training the 
pathologists for the future to be ready for those new opportunities that are coming along on a daily basis.